I'm Rosie Hardy. This is Rosie Hardy Gardening. And today I'm just going to talk about a few wonderful spring flowering perennials and bulbs which are looking cracking at the moment. And it is that time of year when things are starting to go and we all think, yep, yeah, great, it's wonderful. Things have come through the winter, they're starting to come up and they're looking really good. Some of the things that come up don't last for very long, but that doesn't matter. We want to see those things coming through and whatever they do and they come through, they're always going to be good for any of the pollinating insects that are around there. So the earlier you can get flower into your garden, the better. Let's start off with things like this, the crocuses, and they are great. Um, these are beautiful, strong yellow colour on here, and they've got a lovely dark line down the back of them. And at the moment, because there's not a lot of sunshine around, they are semi-closed and they'll close up at night time. But when we get some bright light, they open up, you get that wonderful look of little sunshine all the way down in the borders. You can naturalise them in grass, you can grow them in containers and they are really really great they just go they sing out at you and say look it's sunny come on let's go out and do something so they are really really good I love crocuses all the different colors of them some are really large flowered some are smaller but great at early on bit of color that's what we need just to make our lives feel a lot brighter so that's your crocus so they are brilliant if you have other bulbs, then there are things like this, the early iris. Now, this is one of the reticulata ones. This is Catherine Hodgkinson. She comes up with her flower before her leaf comes up. Amazing coloration and markings on the petals on this actual plant. And it's just fun to see these. They're not going to be very tall. This is something that you can grow in a small alpine pan, or you can put them out in a gravel garden somewhere like that. Because if you go and put them in a main border, they'll get a little bit lost but a gravel garden or a pan as I say they're fantastic early up they come then the leaves come up and then they die back down again there's room for something else but they are just so joyful to see I want to take a quick moment here to let everyone know that Hardy's Nursery is now open for business and we welcome any plant enthusiasts if you're in the UK and can make it to North Hampshire, then please do so. The opening times from the 1st of March to the 30th of September are 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday to Saturday, but 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. on Sundays and bank holidays. Come and see the large selection of herbaceous perennials and you might find what you are looking for to fill that tricky spot in your garden. Now back to the video. Now, if you want something bigger and bolder, then why not try something like this, the Coronilla? Now, this is Coronilla citrina, really, really beautiful thing, lovely pale lemon yellow flowers. And it's a shame you can't smell this, but it's got the most incredible perfume. A lot of the spring flowering shrubs and the spring flowering herbaceous and bulbs will have perfume on them because they need to attract the few pollinators that are out and about, the overwintered ones or maybe the early ones coming out. So they need a strong perfume on there. And most of the time it's a sweet, lovely scent. And this certainly does it. This shrub just starts flowering and flowering and flowering. And you can prune it back. People always think you can't prune it but you can. You can have it as a freestanding shrub and it will get quite tall somewhere around about um, 60 to 1 meter 20 it can get and the same width wise but it's really really great it flowers in the early spring keeps on going quite often in the UK it stops flowering around about the end of May then it might have another burst but mainly it is a late autumn winter spring flowering it needs a slightly sheltered spot but a really great plant to grow so that is Coronella citrina and then We've gone from things, so these, I forgot to say, these three here, um, so the iris and the crocus and the coronilla want to be in sunny spots. The other things that are growing at the moment and want to be in a sunny position but free draining are these beautiful plants and these are the Iphian. Got two completely different uh, forms here. This one is Rolf Feidler. Rolf Feidler 
has beautiful blue flowers where the petals are very rounded and you can see that they are basically joined together all the way around so there's no gaps between the petals there at all quite short and its foliage goes out flat and is quite broad and quite green so that is Rolf Feidler free draining full sun loves a gravel garden then you have this one, which is a uniflorum hybrid, and this one is Hardy's hybrid. And if you look at the petals on this, it's slightly different. They're much more pointed out like that. And the reverse of these flowers has got this amazing line all the way up the back of them. So if you look at them from different angles, so for instance, if you're looking from there, you see this lovely line. So it's really, really good. And when the flowers are fully out, you will see that actually the petals splay out a little bit more. The foliage grows in a different way. So when we put the two plants together, apart from the fact that the flowers are different colours, you can see much lower on Rolf Feidler, taller on Hardy's Hybrid, very sweet scent on this one, slightly less sweet scent on that, but still a good perfume. Foliage more upright, more grass-like on this, foliage flatter on this form. Both for full sun, free draining soils. Really, really great for this time of the year. They are just starting to come up into flower. These two plants have been inside a cold polythene tunnel, which is why they are in flower now. Um, and we're talking about the end of February. Outside, they are showing all of their foliage. They are putting on tight buds. They will be out in flower in my gravel garden here in North Hampshire, mid March. So about another two weeks and they will be starting to come into full flower. Then we, the last ones I've got here, are the Viola odorata types. And these are just two contrasting varieties. This one is the Tsar, beautiful dark purple violet, your traditional color violet. These are ones which will creep around and make lovely mats in a shady area. Again, they would mix with things like snowdrops and cyclamen and coom, looking really, really good. So they want a shady place to stay. And then you've got this beautiful double flowered one, which is king of the violets, really, really beautiful blue lilac, little bit of white in the back of it. And this one again is an odorata type. And you can see by these long, strands here they've gone out where this touches the ground this has got little roots which are about to um, adventitious roots which are going to touch the ground and then they will get going if we tucked them into the pot like that they would have rooted into the pot put that out in the ground and it will start spreading off very very sweetly scented absolutely gorgeous sweet scent on the double ones and a slightly more tart um, or acidic scent on the single ones like this. These are not Parma violets. Parma violets are not hardy in the UK. These are odoratas, perfectly hardy and can go in your shady areas. So those are a few really beautiful things for the early spring. They are all um, capable of flowering and being hardy in the UK and that is great and really good to look at and because they've got such lovely big flowers, they are great for the pollinating insects. So do remember, early flowering stuff is really, really important for your garden. Thank you very much for watching and please do subscribe to our channel.